Hello everyone. In this tutorial, I will make you familiar about the interface of Autodesk Alias Design 2012. You can open the Autodesk Alias Design 2012 interface by double clicking on the shortcut given on the desktop or you can select the Alias Design 2012 option from the start menu. You can follow this step and when you will click on the Autodesk Alias Design 2012 option from here the Autodesk window will get open. This is the default interface of Autodesk Alias Design 2012. You can see that this Essential Skills Movies windows is displayed by default. It covers all the video tutorials related to user interface, creating added objects, transforming objects, picking objects and so on. If you do not want this window to be displayed again, I mean for the next time, mark the checkbox and close the window. You can see that there are four windows displayed by default. It means that you have a four working environments. You can have a better view for a 3D object. If you want to work with any one environment at a time, you can change the display of the windows by selecting the required option from the layouts tab. For example, if you want to work with a perspective window only, you can select the perspective option from the layouts tab. The moment you click on the perspective option, the perspective window will be maximized. You can minimize it again by selecting the perspective option from the layouts tab or you can click on the option that is given the top right of the perspective window. There is a palette that is displayed on the right of the screen. It contains all the tools of the alias design related to transform, surfacing, surface editing, meshing, annotations and evaluation. You can scroll it up or down to have a better view or to select the tools. You can close the palette. You can reopen it by selecting the palette option from the menu shortcuts area or by selecting the palette option from the windows tab. You can do the same procedure for opening and closing the shelves. Shelves contain tools by default. You can customize the shelves as per requirement. For example, if you want to add some tools in the shelves, say I want to add some tools in a curve tools tab, click and hold the right mouse button on the curve tools tab and choose any tool that you want to add. Say circular and circle. A circle will be added. Now you can create any circle. It means a circle flyout will be added. If you, want to, if you want to delete one tool, say I want to add the circle tool only. Press and hold the middle mouse button on the circle flyout and drag it to the delete button at the top of the shelves. The circle will be deleted. In the same manner, you can move the required tool from its location. Say, I want to move the rectangle from this position. Just press and hold the middle mouse button and drag it to the location you want to move it. It will be moved to this location. You can do scan and you can change the position again with the rectangle tool. So this was about adding tools or flyouts in the particular tab. And if you want to add a new tab, a complete new tab, you can press and press and hold the right mouse button in the empty area and select the new shelf option from this. You can rename it or you can leave it as it is. I will rename it with the name CatSim 
and choose the OK button. A new tab named CatSim will be added. If you want to delete this tab, you can delete it. Let me collapse all the tabs so that I can hold, I can just drag this to the delete button. Just press and hold the middle mouse button on the caps and tab you have created recently. Drag it to the delete button. You would find that the caps is deleted. So this was a brief about the shelves. Close the shelves and palette too. On the top of the window, you can see that a menu bar is there. You can choose tools from the palette. Also, you can choose tools from the menu bar. You can choose tools related to the rendering, animation, windows. Windows means you can open different windows. You can find help files or you can switch between different windows or you can just toggle between the windows. Below the menu bar, all the tabs are in menu bar and below the menu bar there is a prompt line. In the prompt line, the prompt sequence or you can say that the prompt, it means if you are using a tool. So the prompt will be displayed in the prompt line and the coordinates that you are entering will also be displayed. Left to the prompt line there is a prompt line history button. If you click on this, the history related to your work will be displayed in the prompt line history window. You can have a glance at the work that you have done till now. Below the prompt line, there is a default layer. There is a default layer. You can change the name or you can add a new layer. For adding the new layer, click on the layers tab and select the new option. You can find that the new layer is added. You can rename it, double click on the layers, the layer L1, and change the name as CAD SIM. And click anywhere in the screen. You can find that a new layer is created. You can set as a current layer and you can also delete this layer by selecting by clicking on the layers tab and then expand the delete option from this and then select the selected layer. As a layer is selected, the custom layer is selected. You can select the selected layer option from this to delete this layer. The layer is deleted. The another important thing about the alias design is the marking menus. You can find marking menus related for transforming, for selecting. Right, if you will use the shift, control and left mouse button together, you would find the marking menus related for selection and if you will use the shift control and middle mouse button you will find the marking menus related for transforming say move scale rotate and so on and if you will use shift control and right mouse button you would find marking menus with different options The another very interesting thing about the alias is the current mode is a default mode. You can switch to any other another mode by just selecting the option. You can select you can switch to the paint mode, you can switch to the visualize mode by following the procedure. Click and hold the left mouse button on the default flyout and select the required option from this. For example, I want to make a canvas image. For that, you need to enter in the paint mode. Select the paint option from this. You would be enter in a can in the paint mode, and in this you can create a canvas image. Click on the 
on this button new canvas a new canvas dialog box will be displayed in this you can set up different parameters for a canvas size say paper size should be A4 you can set up as the requirements I won't work with this so cancel choose a cancel button and select the last mode so default mode so this was about uh, this was a brief about the interface of Autodesk LR Design 2012 thank you